Hello everyone. Uh, today I'll be discussing about machine learning and so I'll be talking more about uh, machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence whereby these two basic technologies are being used in different verticals whether it's a wellness sector or it's in the construction sector, renewable sector, solar sector. It can be used in vast areas. How artificial intelligence or machine learning can be utilized to ease the process of doing a particular method. What is important is these technologies are actually bringing about a behavioral change and because of which a lot of innovations are happening uh, in small startups to fortune 100 companies where everybody is trying to build something together for the future. When we talk about future, the ease of doing business or a process, when we say a process is taking 10 steps, say for example, there are 10 steps in a process. However, if we are using uh, machine learning techniques, uh, the decision making capacity is more. And in that case, it, the decision making capacity is automated. And when we say the decision making capacity is automated, we are actually providing that process in a simpler manner to the user who is operating it. And another uh, good advantage or uh, advantage of understanding the speech recognition of machine learning is that the more it imbibes, the more neural network techniques can be utilized to perform a certain function in a short possible time. Who are the active players in uh, machine learning? Or we can talk about uh, IoT sector. We all know about Amazon. Amazon is has invested a lot on uh, IoT sector, has invested a lot on machine learning techniques, and it is deploying those techniques in its uh, current services also. A number of patent applications have been filed in this domain. And when we talk about uh, even uh, in the medical sector, uh, artificial intelligence or machine learning techniques can actually uh, assist the doctor who is performing a particular operation to take the decision how to go about and you know automating the decision. What is important is to analyze there should be a balance between both uh, utilization of a technology for performing a particular function and using it for the benefit of the mankind. If you have any questions related to uh, how to go about and define intellectual property rights in your business, we would be happy to assist. What is important to understand is India is a country of billion people. So what is the criteria of even filing a patent application in India if you are a foreign entity is India is a huge market and seeing the growth pattern of India, you can actually see a lot of business opportunities which are going to arise in the coming months. A lot of funding opportunities are there. There are a lot of opportunities whereby you can actually collaborate with like-minded people and introduce your business model in India. So what is important to understand here is why to file a patent application in India and how to go about filing a patent application in India. Especially when we talk about uh, startups, or when you are actually as a startup or as an individual file a patent application and then file an international patent application and select India as the uh, ISA that is the International Searching Authority and International Searching Authority is a term used where the patent examiner in India is going to examine your patent uh, document and come with a report of the three main criteria that is patent integrity, non-obviousness and the industrial, industrial applicability. So when we talk about these three parameters, under these three parameters, the patent examiner is come, going to come out with a report uh, after his analysis. And once that report is uh, submitted to the uh, WIPO, that is the uh, database that's the international database where your patent application would be published and once your patent application is published you can enter multiple countries within 28 to 31 months from the first filing date of your domestic patent application now the process in india has been expedited whereby if you are a startup or you have actually selected isa as india you can expedite your patent examination process so a lot of uh, options are being uh, provided to the inventor to uh, file and expedite the process of the patent grant in India. Earlier the patent grant process was taking somewhere around seven to eight years. Now it is coming down, down to five years and how I foresee is there would be a time uh, maybe you know 
if we sign few uh, agreements of patent prosecution highway and under patent prosecution highway if a patent is granted in one country so that analysis would be taken in view in india and things would be a uh, much more easier for uh, companies to uh, actually see that the patent is being patented in india and intellectual property laws are being taken very seriously in india if you have any questions related to pct patent filing in india or international patent uh, application which you filed in your foreign country and you want to enter india we will be happy to assist you if you have any questions just put your question in comment box or you can connect with me on linkedin my name is priti khastigar i am ceo and founder of tcis india have a great day ahead bye bye